So the issue at hand is a big one. The issue at hand, it is not an easy, it, it is about salvation. But I have given you Matthew chapter 5 verse 7, where Jesus said, Do not think that I have come to destroy the law of Moses and the other prophets. No, I have not come to destroy. I have come to fulfill. Whosoever cancel a law, a law cancel or a dot from the law of Moses shall become least. But whosoever do the law of Moses shall become great. So Jesus Christ is coming to confirm the law of Moses. And now as we read in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 30, Jeremiah said, The father shall not bear the iniquity of the son, nor the son bear the iniquity of the father. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 20, it says, God speaking, God Almighty speaking, Behold, all souls are mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The father shall not bear the iniquity of the son, neither the son bear the iniquity of the father. The wickedness of the wickedness shall be upon him, and the righteousness of the righteousness shall be upon him. But if the wicked turn around and do which is good, I, God Almighty, I will blot his sin, and I will never remember it. This is Islam. The father will never bear... Why would Allah burn me in hell? When Adam ate the apple, was I there? Did I ask Adam to eat the apple? Couldn't God forgive Adam? God said, you are forgiven, therefore that's it. We say, Allah, God is all gracious, most merciful. Yet he couldn't say, oh, Adam, you are forgiven. He said, you know what? This sin is too great. It's too powerful. I cannot forgive. What I'm going to do is this. That I'm going to wait 5,000 years after Adam, I will come in the womb of a human being, a Mary, and then she will give birth. And I will become a human being, and I will walk and talk, and then I will be beaten. I will be kicked. I will be slashed. I will be cut. I will be beaten. I will be stripping naked, and then with a napkin, hung on the cross, then my blood will suffer. Is this what it's supposed to be? That's, it's, 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 it's very sad. You're making a mockery of God. You're making a mockery of God. That is what is killing the Muslims. You're making a mockery of the Savior. That, 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 that God Almighty will come on earth and die. Okay, when he died for three days, who is controlling the universe? Galaxies, seas, oceans, nations. Imagine Piju Sound. That director on the Piju Sound, if he goes to sleep, the whole will burn. Allah subhanahu wa Galaxy, billions and billions of galaxies. Where are they going? Who is three days you said he died? Kaput. Who controls the universe? Yeah, the logic cannot accept this. Logic will never accept this. So Christ did not die on the cross. Why did I say that? If you look at the book of Mark, book of uh, Luke 24, 36. When the disciples ran away, they didn't know what happened. They didn't know where Jesus went. What happened to him, they don't know. They went to the upper room. So Jesus walked in the upper room. Luke 24, 36. And Jesus walked in the upper room, and he said to the disciple, Peace be unto you. And the disciples were terrified and afraid, because they thought they have seen a ghost. What did he say? He said, Peace be unto you, to the disciple. That's what the Bible said. Luke 24, 36. Check it out. Luke 24, 36. Jesus walked in the, you know, in the upper room, and the disciple, and he said, Peace be unto you. I'm asking, did Jesus say, Peace be unto you? Did he say, Peace be unto you in English. What language did he spoke? Hebrew or, or, you know, Aramaic. In Aramaic, how do you say peace be unto you? Peace be unto you in, he, in, in Hebrew and Aramaic is shalom aleichem, which is what we say, salamu alaikum. Have you ever said salam to, you, to, to, your, to your friend? No. We follow Jesus. We say salamu alaikum to us. So when he came to the upper room, he said shalom aleichem. And they said wa alaikum shalom. Instead of saying wa alaikum shalom, they said, and they were terrified and afraid because they thought they have seen a ghost. Why are they thinking that he's a ghost? Because they thought he was on the cross. They didn't see him. So Jesus Christ wants to assure them. He said to them, Why do thoughts arouse in your mind and heart? It is I myself. Handle me and see. For a spirit have no flesh and bones as you see me have. Because they thought he's dead. He said, It is I myself. Touch me and see. Look, you think I'm a spirit? Handle me and see. For a spirit, meaning any spirit, have no flesh and bones as you see me have. And they touch him and why they were not happy for joy. And he wants to convince them further that it is him, flesh and bones. He said, have you here any meat to eat? And they gave him broiled fish and honeycomb, and he took it, and he ate it in their very sight, and they were overjoyed. And they went and told the other disciples, and they told, they told Thomas, the doubting Thomas, and so they said, Thomas, watch what they say. They said, Thomas, we have seen the master, and that he was alive. 
They didn't say, Thomas, we have seen the master and that he was resurrected. If the Holy Ghost inspired them, he would have said, Thomas, we have seen the master and that he was resurrected. But they say, Thomas, we have seen the master and that he was alive. Meaning, we expect him to die, but he didn't die, he was alive. Suppose you have an accident and that accident looks like you're going to die. But later, you know, the fire service brought the jaw of life, they bring you out. They say, oh my God, they are alive, meaning they did not die. So Jesus Christ did not die on the cross. He did not die on the cross. But it was made to appear to them so. Because they don't have the exact knowledge of what happened. That's why he said, Ya ati mimbadi ismu hu Ahmad. After me, someone will come after me, his name shall be Ahmad. In fact, I'm going to reserve some of my talks to my 10 minutes rebuttal, then I will give you the, the, the 10 minutes rebuttal. Wa akhirud da'awan alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.